This video is about fundamentals of sets for 7th graders. 7th graders, this is your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as smooth and easy as possible. Use this module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Therefore, you will need a separate sheet of paper and a pen in answering your exercises. Don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to the other activities included in this module. What I know is the pretest in each module that checks what you already know about the lesson to take. Read the instructions carefully before doing each task. Observe honesty and integrity in doing the tasks and checking your answers. Finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next, one at a time only. To maximize your learning and deeply comprehend with the lesson, please pause and replay this video as needed. Now, you are ready. Here is what you need to know. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Illustrate well-defined sets. Determine well-defined sets according to type. And determine cardinality of the given sets. What's in? Let us take a glimpse at mathematics in 1874. A German mathematician named Jörg Hantor founded another body of knowledge called set theory. In this new body of knowledge, your cantor defined set as a collection of well-defined distinct objects. What's new? Group the word strips according to A. Malls, B. Catholic churches, C. Historical landmarks. D. Cebuano Celebrities and E. Man-made tourist destinations Now let us familiarize with the word strips We have Sirao Little Amsterdam Garden Magellan's Cross Ayala Center Cebu Basilica Minore del Santo Nino Morissette Amon Enrique Hill SM City Cebu Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral Robinson's Galleria, Temple of Leia, Cebu Plaza Independencia, SM Seaside City, Puente Osmeña Circle, and Kimchu. Here we have five boxes and we label them Malls, Catholic Churches, Historical Landmarks, Cebuano Celebrities, and man-made tourist destinations. This time, we are going to sort out the places and persons that have distinct characteristics. So, whatever your answer is, let's see if it's the same with mine. Let's start with Sirao Little Amsterdam Garden Magellan's Cross Ayala Center Cebu Basilica Minore del Santo Nino, Morissette Amon, Enrique Hill, SM City Cebu, Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral, Robinson's Galleria, Temple of Leia, Cebu Plaza Independencia, SM Seaside City, Fuente Osmeña Circle, and Kimchu. All the places and personalities 
that we have grouped together as one in each of the boxes have distinct characteristics. However, some objects may belong to two or three more groups. For example, Basilica Minore del Santo Niño, aside from being a Catholic church, is also a historical landmark. And Magellan's Cross, aside from being a historical landmark, is also a man-made tourist destination. Nevertheless, each of the boxes are a collection of well-defined distinct objects called sets. Now, we've been talking about sets. What is a set? A set is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. It is represented by a capital letter symbol. Based on the word strips in the box, we were able to form sets. For example, our set A is a set of malls in Cebu City. For example, Ayala Center Cebu, SM City Cebu, Robinson's Galleria, and SM Seaside City. Our set B is a set of Catholic churches in Cebu City, Basilica Minore del Santo Niño, and Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral. Our set C is a set of historical landmarks in Cebu City. Our set D is a set of Cebuano celebrities. And our set E is a set of man-made tourist destinations in Cebu City. Now, let us take the set of malls in Cebu City. The individual objects in a set are called elements, which is denoted by this symbol. So for our example, the elements are SMC Site City, Robinson's Galleria, SM City Cebu, and Ayala Center Cebu. Always remember that elements in the set can be a name of a person, things, place, animals, colors, idea, actions, figures, numbers, etc. Now, let's have another example, which is set D. Set D has the elements Kim Chu, Morissette Amon, and Enrique Hill. And this set is a set that contains names of persons. Good job! Now, we have been talking about well-defined. A set is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. Now, when can a collection or group be called well-defined? Collections or groups are well-defined if elements are distinct or specific, meaning each of the elements are different and are related in each other. Let me explain to you about that with the following examples. I have here a table which contains examples of well-defined collection. The collection of children in grade 7 whose weight exceeds 35 kilograms. The collection of even numbers from 2 to 12. The collection of months in a year with 31 days. Now, these examples are well-defined because the elements are distinct or specific. The parts that make the elements distinct or specific are, for number one, weight exceeds 35 kilograms. For number two, from two to 12. And for number three, with 31 days. Let me show you examples of non-well-defined collection. Number one, the collection of all intelligent children in grade seven. The collection of big books in the library. The collection of vibrant colors. The examples are not well-defined because the description is using adjectives such as intelligent, big, and vibrant, which are not specific. Now this time, let's talk about cardinality. Cardinality refers to the total number of elements in a set. For example, set A, X such that X is a mall in Cebu City. 
Now, in our previous example in the bigger box, the malls in Cebu City are SMC Side City, Robinson's Galleria, SM City Cebu, and Ayala Center Cebu. Now, let us count the number of elements in this set. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Therefore, the cardinality of set A is 4, or there are 4 elements in set A. Let us have set B, which is X, where X is a Catholic church in Cebu City. Now, we have Basilica Minore del Santo Nino and Metropolitan Cathedral. So, how many elements are there in set B? That is right. There are two elements in set B, which is written as the cardinality of set B is 2. Let us have set C, where X, such that X, is a historical landmark in Cebu City. We have Magellan's Cross, Plaza Independencia, Fuente Osmeña Circle, and Basilica Minore del Santo Nino. And there are how many elements? That is right, four elements, or the cardinality of set C is four. You got it! Let's have set D. Our set D, where X such that X is a Cebuano celebrity. In this box, we have Morissette Amon, Enrique Hill, and Kim Chu. How many elements in this set? That is right, there are three elements in this set, or the cardinality of set D is 3. And lastly, we have set E, which is a man-made tourist destination in Cebu City. We have Sirao Little Amsterdam Garden, Temple of Leia, Magellan's Cross, and so, how many elements are there? There are three elements. Or, the cardinality of set E is 3. There you go. Good job. Now, let's talk about the types of sets according to cardinality. We have empty set, finite set, infinite set. Let's talk about empty sets. The sets with no elements. It is also called null set. For example, set A where X such that X is a number in the alphabet. Do you see a number in the alphabet? No. Therefore, this set is an empty set which is represented by a parenthesis with nothing in between, look at my mouse, or this minuscule which is a Danish letter which represents an empty set or a null set. Now let's go to finite sets. The set with definite number of elements. Now do you know that empty sets are also finite sets? Well, it's definite that an empty set has no element. That is why it is a finite set. Now this ellipse here represents the other elements which are not mentioned in this set. And that element is a. Therefore, the cardinality of B is 5. This is a finite set because we know exactly the number of elements in set B. And lastly, we talk about infinite set. It's the set with infinite cardinality. For example, set C are the numbers which are multiples of 3. Now, notice that our ellipse is after the last element written in this set, which represents all the other multiples of 3 that are not mentioned here. And so, therefore, since it is infinite, the cardinality of set C is infinite. Again, you can pause and replay any part of the video at any given time. What's more, Activity 1, Now It's Your Turn, has two parts. Let's talk about Part A first. 
complete the table below, the first three items are already answered for your reference. Now let us familiarize the different columns in set A. Collection or group of objects. There are 15 collection or group of objects. Kind of collection. Here we identify if the collection is well-defined or not well-defined. In here is the type of set. If your kind of collection is well-defined, then it can have a type of set. But if your collection is not well-defined, then it does not have a type as it is not a set. Now let us observe our first three items. Number one, the collection of odd numbers from 13 to 21. It is well-defined and it is a finite set. Number two, the collection of even numbers. It is still well-defined and it is an infinite set. But number three is the list of all short children in grade seven which is not well-defined, and therefore, it is not a set, and it does not have a type. Set B. Determine the cardinality of the given sets. The first two questions are already answered for your reference. This part here are the seven sets. This part here are the cardinality of our given sets. Okay? Set A are numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so the cardinality is 6. There are 6 elements in this set. For set B, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, which means that it is infinite. Again, you can answer this in a separate sheet of paper. And of course, please submit your work on time. Can I count on you? That is right. Thank you very much. Now here is what you need to remember. A collection is considered not well defined if it is vague or not specific. A null set or empty set is also a finite set. A collection is finite or infinite if and only if it is a well-defined collection. And lastly, every element in the set is separated by a comma. We have reached the end of lesson 1. Congratulations! Once again, this has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. Get involved and keep on.